Hey guys, OBF back here, back again with another Vans review. And this time I got something a little bit different. This is from a recent collaboration between Vans and Nixon on the Nixon Mini Blaster. This is a very popular wireless Bluetooth speaker, which Nixon has released in the past. Uh, they released a couple different colorways in this, this blacked out one being included. They also released a chocolate skateboards collaboration. I think about a year ago now, it was like a red, all red speaker with like a special lanyard. This time collaborating with Vans, giving it that Vans aesthetic. As you can see on the sides here, you got the waffle grip that you usually see on the outsole. And then you have that blacked out heel tab, which is really cool. This little speaker may not seem like much at first, but it definitely packs a great sound, especially compared to how small it is. And they actually released a regular version of the speaker too, which is called the Blaster, but I think that the Mini Blaster actually sells better. Considering the size, it's so small, so perfect. It's actually a very durable speaker as well. It's splash resistant, shock resistant. You can throw it in the dirt, nothing's gonna happen to it. And it's actually encased in this silicone um, material, which is very nice, gives it a good grip. Definitely feels substantial, um, something that I would look for in a speaker. I just think it feels like a better quality speaker if it just has like that perfect weight to it. Feels very nice. I mean, it's not too heavy, don't get me wrong, but it definitely is the perfect weight. At least enough to just sit here and not be blown away by wind or anything like that. Another great thing about this little speaker is you can actually pair it up with another one to get a surround sound effect, which is pretty cool. One of these by themselves is pretty crazy, so I can't imagine having two of them going at the same time. I will get into the sound a little bit later on in the video. First, I want to give you guys a close inspection here as far as buttons go. On the left side here, you have the power button. Right below it, we have the input, so you can actually put in like headphones or like uh, an aux cable in there, and then you got the charger right there. The little button above it is the reset button. On the other side, you have the sync button here with the Nixon logo, and then right above it, it's just where the lanyard goes. On the top of this thing, you got volume control as well as track control. So you can actually change the song on here um, without having to go through your phone, which I actually found very useful. I use this more, way more so than actually trying to change it on my phone. So that's pretty cool. You can actually even um, answer calls on this thing, which is crazy. There's a microphone somewhere in here. I'm not exactly sure where. I'm sure it's behind the, the casing in the front. So if you guys um, get an incoming call while you're listening to your music, you just press one of the buttons on the top here. I'm not exactly sure which ones, but then you can answer your call. On the face of the speaker here, these two right holes are actually going to be where you figure out if it's synced or whether it's on or not. The one on the left will become red if the speaker is on. The one on the right is going to be a blue color, and that'll let you know whether it's synced or not. This speaker is really cool. It has a lot of cool effects on it when you turn the speaker on or off or connect. I'm not exactly sure who does the voice for this thing. I think somebody found out doing a review. It was some guy named Sal. I'm not exactly sure who that is, but let's get a listen to this. Yes! And now we'll just connect to my tablet, which it already has done, as you can see. That I don't know if you can see that, but there is a blue light on in there, um, signifying that it is connected to my tablet.
So as you guys can see, this thing definitely packs a punch as far as sound goes. Um, it actually gets a lot louder, but I don't really want to um, play it as loud as possible. I don't want to distort the video in any way. Anyways, it's a great buy. I hope you guys like the review, and be sure to stay tuned for more. Later.